my education background, I, well, high school, graduated from there and I decided to go on to college. I went to uh, Cal State Fullerton and that's uh, maybe about 70 miles from my, uh, what then was my hometown. And I decided to major in chemistry. So I did that. And uh, I was really fortunate to have gone to, to um, Fullerton for chemistry because this school was focused on undergraduates. And, and more importantly, for a, a student of science, they focused on research, which is, you know, went back when I thought. I like science, I just don't think of myself as a scientist. I thought I could never see myself in a lab coat pouring things from beaker to beaker and coming up with, with scientific theory. I, that's what my vision of a scientist was and I was like, that is just not me. I just, I, I, I don't know how to do that. But it, I, was, um, I was so grateful to learn that, that they're there to teach you how to do that. You, you don't have to come there already knowing that, believe it or not which uh, I thought you did, but no, believe it or not, when you go to college, they teach you things. That's the whole point. And, uh, um, but I, I got involved in research, and I had a professor who taught me how to do research. He, he took me from not knowing anything about it to teaching me how to do it and to do it well. So I was really excited about the education I got there in chemistry because um, I learned how to work in a lab, and I loved it. It made so much sense out of chemistry. If, if, if I just learned chemistry from a book, I wouldn't be as this excited about it today, but I got in the laboratory and I got to learn all sorts of things and how to become a really good observer, which is what a chemist is. It's a trained observer. And um, I really got to apply the things I was learning in chemistry um, in the laboratory and I loved it. I was also uh, an athlete. I ran track and field. I was a sprinter and a long jumper and I had a wonderful experience there and anybody that tells you that you can't do both sports and and school um, they're fibbing to you because I'm here to tell you that you can't. It takes it took me a little bit longer uh, to get through my degree just because I, did, I decided to divide my time and it was a it was a wonderful balance for me I just couldn't stand being uh, buried in a book the whole time I had to get my energy out and so I had as wonderful of experience as a track athlete and a student athlete um, as I did being in the laboratory. So that was some of my, um, um, uh, I think, greatest building blocks uh, to start my career. I had no intentions of going into graduate school, believe it or not. I never th thought I could be a PhD. I really thought that was for very, very smart people. And I did not consider myself to be very smart, just a hard worker now. And. Um, Though I did want to be an astronaut, in fact, my research advisor, my undergraduate research advisor, uh, you know, think of him as your coach, you know, your, your science coach, uh, and I worked in his laboratory and he taught me how to do research and he said, so you want to be an astronaut, and why aren't you going to graduate school? Don't you have to go to graduate school? I said, nope, they'll take a bachelor's degree, you don't have to have a PhD, and, and he says, well, I think you need to get a PhD. I was scared to death. It was like, no. I don't know how to do that. And he says, well, again, they teach you how to do that. And uh, I said, I don't think I'm smart enough. And I don't have enough money to keep going to school. I have student loans, and I'm on financial aid, and there's just absolutely no way I can afford, I can afford more school. I need to get a job so I can start paying for that stuff. And he said, well, let me alleviate your fears. Did you know, first of all, that um, being a, um, going to graduate school and getting a PhD doesn't take as much intelligence as it does um, a lot of sweat and hard work? That's really what it takes, and you you become intelligent through all of that. So I think you got I think you got that mastered. Okay, next thing. You think it costs money? Well, did you know they actually pay you to go to graduate school? Pay me? How do they pay me? That you become a research assistant or a teaching assistant, and you actually get a stipend. So what's your next excuse? I was like, I guess I don't have any. So I went off to graduate school, scared to death that I wasn't going to make it. But again, you pick something that you really like to do, and you you excel at it and um, and I did. So um, I did that. I went to graduate school and while I was there uh, again I had a really phenomenal advi research advisor in my graduate career just like in my undergraduate. I've been blessed to be surrounded by just fantastic people. Really um, uh, just blessed men mentors that really knew how to guide me where I needed to go. And this advisor of mine I went to UC Davis and this advisor of mine recognized that uh, the importance of getting out of the laboratory and so when I told him I was interested in taking Russian language course, he said, yes, yes, you need to get out of the lab. So um, every day for, for an hour I would get out of the lab and go 
to Russian class and I learned Russian for two and a half years while I was a graduate student. So um, I just had a, a tremendous experience going to school. In fact, I miss it. I miss going to school. But being an astronaut is very much like being a student. Um, and uh, when I finished my, uh, my PhD, I submitted my dissertation and, by the way, did, did more as a, as a graduate student than I ever thought I would in, in, the, in the form of academics and, and expressing myself. I learned how to talk in front of an audience, which the first time I did it, my advisor just sit, looked at me and thought needed to give me a, a, a shot of a chill pill or something because I was not very good at speaking in front of people. Um, but it got me out of my shell. So I learned, I learned so much. From, from that experience. I submitted my dissertation in July of uh, 97 and I went off to be a what we call a postdoctoral research fellow. So after you get your PhD and then you uh, take about a year to um, kind of decide what you want to do. I went and worked for a, another professor at another university and it was within that year, that very next month after my dissertation, I submitted my application for the astronaut program. And though I was told, don't, don't expect to get in your first time, um, uh, I just submitted it anyway and uh, hoped for the best, did a lot of praying. And um, well, the rest is history, but that was, uh, that was uh, the year that I was selected into the astronaut corps. So.